here on in. We will be very much covering the 76ers. Of course, Serena Winters covering the team daily, and she will be on the case as the Sixers head to the second round of the playoffs. Wow, we have oh. something here. How did this happen between Bolden and Kuroks? And Bolden has to be separated. T.J. McConnell, his teammate, is on him. I'll tell you what, I didn't see what happened because I was looking down the floor. Little did I expect in this game anything to break out at this point. Well, you didn't see any fight from the Nets all evening long, so why would you expect any fight now? As we see the two bodies kind of get tangled up, and what's going on here? What is Kuritz upset about? And then Jonah just trying to clarify. Still trying to clarify. Brett Brown just trying to get this game over with without his guys getting hurt or ejected. So let me say this. We have had a minimum of one flagrant or tech in every game this season or this series. The four game totals three flagrants eight technical fouls two ejections. And I thought we were going to go scot free <laughs> through this one. We've seen some of the lamest, we were breezing. lamest altercations. Again Kuruts not quite sure what he's doing there. Your, your beef is with the referee who didn't call the foul on you. Huh? Here's the way it went through the previous five games four games I should say this being game number five and we could add to those totals here depending on the feelings of the officials as they consult with the replay center in Secaucus you should have started fighting at 815 not at 1022 at night a little bit late for that well so that was Bolden and his momentum being carried into Kuroks and Kuroks thinking that he tried to pancake him against the stanchion and then he shoved away Bolden and that really got under Jonah Bolden's skin well, you can see the officials trying to intervene and get in between God love him for the effort 